What's up fellow content creators and streamers? Today I'm gonna be showing you guys three of the best OBS plugin settings for your streams. Without further ado, let's get right into the video. The first plugin I'm gonna be showing you guys is closed captioning with Google Speech. This would probably be the best closed captioning you can get on your stream. Closed captioning could be helpful for people that don't wanna listen to the stream and just wanna watch. It's really easy to set up. So what you gotta do first is go to this website. I will link it down in the description. So once you go to this website, you're gonna click on go to download and then it should take you to this GitHub page and then what you're going to want to do is click on whatever operating system that you're on but for me it's just windows so i'm just going to download that once it's downloaded you're just going to want to open it up and go into this folder where it says obs dash plugins this is where you don't want to move anymore the next thing you want to do is go to your windows drive and go to program files and then you're going to be looking for obs dash studio you're just going to double click on this and then it'll take you to this folder where it says bin data obs plugins and uninstall what you're going to do is take the obs dash plugins folder from the download that you just did and then just click replace the files in the destination this is not a virus trust me so just click continue and then once that is installed what you're going to want to do is open up your obs and then once your obs is open you should go down to tools and then as you can see cloud closed captions pops up so you're just going to want to click on this immediately go to settings and then this panel has popped up so the first thing you want to do is click on captioning enabled the second thing you want to do is to select your microphone underneath caption source so for me I just have my microphone renamed as mic. So I'm just going to click on mic and then you're going to click save down here at the bottom. As you can see, it's starting to work. It's not going to be 100% accurate the whole time, but it's going to do a pretty decent job considering it's using Google's recognition. The second plugin I'm going to be showing you guys is better TTV emotes and Franker faces emotes. These emotes are for like three head or Pepe, just emotes that are funny and meme basically what a lot of streamers use. So the first thing you're going to want to do is open up your settings and OBS and then you're just going to click on your stream and then underneath where you logged in at there's going to be a twitch chat add-ons and you're going to just want to click on better TTV and Franker faces so then you can use both of the emotes and then you're just going to click apply on this and then click OK. The next thing you want to do is go to betterttv.com I will link it down in the description and then you're going to have to download this extension for your browser it's not a virus or anything so you'll be fine and then once you download that you're just going to want to click on emotes and then you can choose literally any emote emote from this list you can choose any of them so let's just click manga s for example and then all i want to do is click add to channel so for me i just use the most popular ones it's really up to you and which ones you want to pick and choose so yeah and then for frinker faces this is also the same idea you're gonna have to download the browser extension. It's not a virus. You're just gonna simply connect your Twitch and then you can use any emote from here as well. You can actually add up to 25. But for me, I just added the most popular ones that are being used currently. And then as you can see, all the new emotes that I just added have been added to my panel. I can use any of them. So let's just use why people sad. As you see, it pops up in my chat like so. Other than that, let's get on to the third plugin. The last plugin I'm going to be showing you for this video is going to be a music overlay for your streams. It's very simple to set up. All you're going to want to do is click the link in the description. It's going to be github.com slash snip and then simply download this snip file right here. So once you download the snip, what you're going to want to do is double click on snip. What you're going to want to do is take this folder and put it anywhere you like just so the program can run properly. So now what you're going to want to do is go to this file and then double click click on the snip application. It's going to take you to this website where it's going to ask if they can log into your account. They're not going to do anything bad to your account or anything. So just click agree. Once you accept it, as you can see, snip will tell you that you are successfully authorized and you can just close this window. So once you see the text file document and the JPEG get added to this folder, what you're going to want to do is add a new source. One is going to be an image. You can call it whatever you want, but for me, I'm just going to call it Spotify. What you're going to want to do is click on image file and then click on the snip folder. And then you're just going to simply click on snip artwork. The next thing you're going to want to do is add the text portion. So all you're going to want to do is go down to your sources, click on text. You can call it whatever you like. The next, you're just going to click on read from file. Then you're just going to go in the snip folder and then where the snip text document is at, you're just going to double click on that. 
and then just click OK. So once you have your two sources set up, what you're going to want to do is go over to your Spotify and just start playing any song you want. And then as you can see, the text pops up on screen. You can scale it up and down or however you want. You can also change how the text looks. So you can change the font, the font style, the size, basically any way you want the font, you can do it. So you get the picture up on screen of the album artwork. What you're going to want to do is go down to your tasks right click on the snip program and then click save album artwork and then of course you can change the size of the album artwork i'll just set it to large and then scale it down so now as you can see i have the picture and the text up on screen it's up to you on how you want it to look but for an example i have the picture and the text underneath my webcam there's a small little setup like this and that is three of the best plugins you should be using for your streams i hope you guys enjoyed the video if you haven't already please be sure to drop a like and subscribe and i'll be seeing you guys next time He's up.